Hey, church, let's do a devotional out of Psalm 8. So if you have your Bibles, hope you do, open to Psalm 8. But if you're listening to this in the car, don't open your Bible. I'll just read it for you, okay? But here in Psalm 8 is one of those beautiful devotional Psalms by David. It's very short. It's only nine verses. So let me just read through it and then just talk through the application of how God would use it in our lives. Psalm 8, beginning in verse 1. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth, who has displayed your splendor above the heavens. From the mouth of infants and nursing babes, you have established strength because of your adversaries to make the enemy and the revengeful cease. When I consider your heavens and the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have ordained, what is man? that you would take thought of him, and the Son of Man, that you would care for him. Yet you have made him a little lower than the angels, literally, and crowned him with glory and majesty. You make him to rule over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, and also the beasts of the field, the birds of the heavens, and the fish of the sea, whatever passes through the paths of the seas. O oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name, in all the earth. This is a powerful devotional of David. And you know, throughout the years, there's been a lot of worship songs based on Psalm 8, because it's got this beautiful perspective. Oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. I can almost sing one of those songs. You know, it's this beautiful picture. He's displayed his splendor, right? And, and he has made his handiwork known. Like verse 3, When I think of your heavens and the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have ordained. Oh, look at this amazing uh, uh, creation. Like when you go out at night and look out at the stars, isn't there something inside of you that says, Oh Lord, you are, you are amazing. How majestic is your name. It's a beautiful picture. But then to think, well, who am I? Who am I, God, that you would care for me? But David knows the answer to this. You see, when I think about all of this, and then verse 4, he says the same thing that a lot of people think. What's man? That you take thought of him, or the son of man that you care for him. You've made him a little lower than the angels, crowned him with glory and majesty. I tell you, though you look at the stars of the heavens and they, million, uh, they number billions in number, I can tell you something very important. Earth is, of all planets, special to God. You know why? Because he says, the earth is my footstool. It is there that God has placed his very son to redeem you. How precious is that? What is man? God's answer would be, I put my image on you. I put my fingerprint on you, you might say. I love you so much. You're so precious to me. I gave my son for you. That's the answer. And then he like, he ends with this worship. Oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name. How majestic. Majesty. It's a beautiful devotion, isn't it? How majestic is your name in all the earth. He is worthy of our honor. He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our worship. It's a beautiful picture. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much for this psalm of devotion where we just see that heart, where we see how amazing you are, but then we hear what you have done to redeem us, that precious life of your son that you gave. God, now we see what you have done and it makes us honor you, makes us want to worship you. Oh, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You are worthy of honor. We honor you. Thank you in Jesus' powerful name. Amen and amen. God bless you, church.